So, they're saying that I need to apologize for my mistake on Abraham, Martin, and John. I'm like, you mean Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King, and John Lennon? I don't know. Is that what it is? And I'm just like, they're old souls, otherwise they wouldn't be here. And you have to reference the old souls from which they originated. So, but, but, but I'll tell you, the first song is problematic and let me just, I can discuss this for two seconds, okay? It made the point that the good die young, okay? But why? Okay. There's all sorts of issues with this. Is it because people are getting by Richard Holler? Okay. They're making a point. So the the heavens always have some sort of thing about just giving it to us in terms of clues. The word holler means screaming and just calling attention to okay so somebody's hollering about why the good die young okay it's making a point of this and i think it refers not just to these people but the biblical old testament phenomenon where abram was given a life extension to become abraham okay so remember that Abraham and his wife wanted children, but she was barren and God came to them and said, basically, you're going to change your name to Abraham and it used to be Abram. Okay. So that song is particularly troublesome because it's a signal that people are being given life extensions that are not warranted. Okay. That's what the song is about in actuality. And, you know, This is the kind of stuff that comes to my head. Okay, and I have to say this because that's what the song's actually about. Okay, Abraham versus Abraham and life extensions because it's particularly calls attention to why the good die young. And the key is the good die young. If you want to be good in the eyes of the heavens, you have to die young. Okay, that's what it's calling attention to. Um, but the backdrop is not just Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King, and John Lennon. It's not that, okay? It's Abraham and Abraham. So basically, good lyrics are multi-layered. They're multi tiered and you have to be able to read it in different depths. The point is that the good die young, that you ought not to have life extensions, okay? That's the point. Which is the reason why it also could be referenced to Abraham, Abraham, St. Martin, and John. And, um, St. John. Okay, Johnny, St. John. Stop. <laughs> I'll tell you. That's what they wanted you to... Uh, the, to you what okay this is how I got my earrings okay this and this I think I wore it on the wrong ear okay. <laughs> wrong put this okay so one of the earrings had a bag that was like this okay and the other one had the disc so um, I think this is how it's supposed to go okay so now the point is Okay. I don't know my history. I particularly don't know my modern history, but that's what it's about. Okay, I've been told. And we have to remember that life extensions are just not to be given indefinitely. And in the Old Testament, it goes on to say later on that, you know, the gods will live till they're like 1200 or something. I forgot what it was, but, oh, sorry. The humans are only supposed to be extended to 120 maximum. Okay. And that was what the Bible said. And 
gods a thousand i think it was a i don't remember exactly what it was but you need to go back and read it and then you'll understand the good die young and that's the key okay so let's scratch this and we're going to go back to achy breaky hearts